Good evening from jolly old England and from Poppy Parker and the Swinging London Collection. It is the last, in fact, of the Swinging London Collection. And in case you can't guess from the large object on your right, this is not a doll. This is actually going to be the chair that we were promised. Um, originally, as a club doll, we were promised both a doll and, in, in a special order, the chair. So the chair itself uh, is a tribute to the Space Age, is hard plastic. In two pieces, the chair itself and the stand. You could buy this chair by itself, or you could get it with the doll. And if you did get it with the doll, the doll, interestingly enough, will come with the pillows that you see. If I can bring the camera in a little bit closer, you'll see the Twiggy pillow. Uh, in the back, a very small pillow with uh, yellow, red, and green. And you will see this very small pillow that says that it's all groovy. And in fact, this complete look is groovy. So uh, let me go ahead and start talking about the doll. I believe these boots are made for walking. This lovely poppy actually comes with two distinct looks. Uh, the first one is a very interesting tribute both to the Swinging London, the Canopy Street, a little bit of the 20s, and a little bit of uh, the British police. And by that I mean if I can just turn her around so you can see from the back. This hat is the Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y, -B -B not Barbie, Bobby style hat. It's also a little reminiscent of the 20s. Um, it is white like the rest of her ensemble and it attaches with the strap you don't necessarily need the strap but again that gives you the whole police bobby hat look uh the space age look is in the jacket which closes and opens with a zipper she has on instead of having gloves to go with this she has this is the second set of hands that are white and red the red obviously matching the chair and the kool-aid hair and yes she has white boots that nancy sinatra would die for they do lace but that is not how you put them on Mercifully, as always, or not as always, but we'll talk about that later, um, they zip in the back and they have a very low, clunky heel. If you got the sunny slippers outfit and you have the clear umbrella, that would go perfect with this. So that's one part of the mix and match. Now, as I said, this jacket does come off with the zipper. to reveal yet another take on the Union Jack. So I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna set her back up again. And we are going to talk about uh, the other items that this ensemble comes with, i.e. the second look for this lovely lady. So let the invasion continue. So usually I would start out by talking about her hair and her sculpt, uh, but because I had the hat on and the jacket, I decided to focus on that first and I would come back to uh, this part of her look. So let's start now from where we generally do uh, her face, which is a lovely 
shade of red. I think I called it Kool-Aid red before, but that's that's an American reference to a beverage. But yeah, this is a very red hair uh, with a very light brown and gray makeup at her eyes. The brow is brown. Uh, the top lid is a very light light brown like you threw in a whole bunch of milk into coffee she's got gorgeous gorgeous lashes that if you look at this doll from the top you see the bangs end and her lashes begin which is a gorgeous effect um let's see if you can see that if i pull this down yeah you can just see it you'll see her lashes pe peeking out right under the bangs her eyes are gray and her lips are a very soft pink. And that same soft pink is at her cheek and there's just a very slight hint of it. And again, something, another reason why I held off doing this with the hat on, you really couldn't tell that she's got on these really nice dark blue bangles that go perfectly with the dress and the rest of her jewelry. But when you put the, especially when you put the hat on, but also because the hair is so nice, they kind of get lost in the hair. The hair is very soft and fully rooted. Goes to just underneath the shoulder. And the dress closes in the back. I can just grab it with hook and eye. Bringing her back slowly toward the front. I'm going to set the camera down so you can take a look at uh, the first thing, which is a very large dark blue ring in a circular pattern. And her nails have uh, white nip polish. It's not the French manicure. It's, it's actual white polish, which, of course, matches the dress and her boots. And then you have this really interesting bracelet set which is red and blue um but if you wanted to you could pop out it's probably easier to do with with the bracelet off i'm just telling you you can pop out the red and blue bangles and just have this white cuff piece with just the red band and then the other two portions would either be blank or if you've got other let's see if i can pop the red out if you've got other cuff Oh, almost got it. If you got other cuff jewelry like this, you can substitute it in. So like a silver bangle, maybe, or a gold. I don't want to pull it out. I'm, I'm afraid of hurting her. So let's just leave it like that. But trust me, you can pull it out. The last piece of this ensemble, which I wanted to show off separately, she does, of course, come with a purse in the colors of the Union Jack, but not in the Union Jack itself, which I've seen stylized many times into tote bags and purses and whatnot. This opens with a button, not with a metallic clasp. And if she had gloves, you might be able to put them in there if you got the tissue paper out. This is actually one of the few times I've seen them do this lately. They don't usually put tissue paper in there. But if you would pull that out, you could probably put her gloves in there if she came with gloves. Or oh, that might be a good place to put her hand. You might also want to put the ring in there if you were going to travel. So this British Invasion poppy is the last of the Swinging London line, at least that which is being released. There are a couple of more dolls coming soon that we've been able to pre-order. Uh, but this is the last of the club dolls related to British Poppy. And, of course, the big send-off with the chair. Uh, there, as I said, there are a couple of more dolls coming, but they're not they're, they're dealer dolls. They're not club dolls. So the next time we see, probably see Poppy and the club, it'll be with the next line of whatever Poppy will be. We do know that she's going to the earlier 60s. This is the mid to late 60s look in London. So she's going back to the earlier 60s. We don't know if it'll be tied to a particular country. 
We just know that it's going to be the earlier 60s. So we'll see what kind of looks we get out of that. So for Miss Parker and for the great chair and for me, Barbara, I will see you next time in the next review, which will be probably Agnes and she will be marvelous. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.